Hello everybody, it's Gemma here from madebygemmacrafts.co.uk uh, Thank you for pressing play on my video um, Today I have got um, this cute little Christmas cracker but this has got a bit of a twist to it because if you turn it over it has got a secret hidden compartment in the back so you can pop your treats in and out and then it just closes again like so and there you have your lovely cracker in one piece like so so if I just pop this out of the way I will show you how I made my cracker you are going to need a piece of cardstock which measures 11 inches by 8 and a quarter so this is just a piece of A4 card and I've just cut a tiny bit off the end here to make it 11 inches we uh, there's quite a bit of scoring and a bit of cutting to do on this so I'm going to get straight on with the scoring so on the long side the 11 inch side we are going to score it at half an inch two and a half inches four and a half inches six and a half inches eight and a half inches and then finally at ten and a half inches you're going to rotate your cardstock so you've got your short side across the top, the eight and a quarter inch side, and we are going to score at one and a half inches, two and one eighth of an inch, two and three quarters of an inch, and then we are going to score at five and a half inches, six and one eighth of an inch. And then six and three quarters of an inch like so we'll just turn that round so you've got two sections here with small rectangles and then we've got our ones across the middle which are bigger here so let's just take the scoreboard out the way so if we fold and burnish all our score lines that we've just made like so other side as well there we go. right okay so if you pop this out in front of you now on one side we're going to create the tabs to stick our cracker together and then on the other end we are going to cut some sections out so it makes our little flap over to hide our little window that we're going to cut for our cracker so if you take your scissors so for this in this half inch section here we are going to remove these tiny squares here so we're just going to cut up to our score line and fold that back and just cut that away like so on both ends and then we're just going to notch in take a little notch off of the edge of these sections as well just so when we pop our cracker together it goes together nice and neatly Also on this middle tab section here we need to take a little bit off of the edge which will be apparent why because when we pop our box together we, we are going to have cut out a little window here and if we leave it 
at half an inch wide it's going to show through our little window so that's why we're just going to take off a little bit off of the edge of our tab here so for this end we need to take off these corners completely so we're just going to cut along here up to that third score line and then just along this here so we take away our corners completely and this gives us our little section that's going to fold back on itself to cover up our little secret window in our cracker like so and then what you can do is you can take the tab over the opposite direction and give that a fold down so it will lay flat that way same with our tab we can give that a little crease in the opposite direction because that is going to sit in just here to make our little cover for our window. Now to make our little tab for this end, I'm just going to take my ruler and pencil and this section here is two and three quarters of an inch long. So to make my tab, all I did was measure it three quarters of an inch and then at two inches put a little mark on and then we need to cut a little slit in our score line here for our closure as well so again i'm just taking my ruler made a little mark at three quarters of an inch and at two inches like so and then you can take your craft knife underneath. You take your craft knife and your ruler and then you're just going to cut a little slit between these two two marks here that you've made like so. And then for your tab on this end you can just cut up to your little mark that you've made along the score line. Do that on both ends. And then at a very slight angle we're just going to snip up and remove our little corners like so. That is for that. Okay so to make the window on my cracker what I've done is I've used one of the um, frame that dies out of the tags and labels frame that's set and I've just centralised it on there and then I've run it through my die cutting machine and that's what I have used to make my window. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just going to go and cut that out because my A4 machine is really really heavy and is a bit big for my desk so I won't be a moment. Right so I just pop this off and that has cut out our little window. For our compartment like so. So all we need to do now is mark on our score line here our middle one in this these rectangular sections and um, just need to put some little marks on so we can cut out our diamond shapes to get our cracker or to give our cracker the shape on the uh, ends so each of our sections here is two inches wide so all I've done all I did was lined up my ruler and I've put a little mark at three quarters of an inch and then at one and three quarters of an inch like so and you can just just repeat that all the way along there we go get it right at three quarters and one of one and a quarter inches So 
and then you just want to repeat that across here as well. I shall just quickly show you how I cut my diamond shape. So I've taken, taken my cracker and I've folded on this first score line here. You can start around this way. And then I'm just simply going to cut a triangle shape around this mark here up to the one I've just marked and then repeat on the other side just like so open that back up as you can see that gives you a triangle shape a like diamond shape across your cracker and you just go along each score line repeating the same thing all the way along So now to save some time on my video today, I will just bring in one that I have already finished cutting and I've also popped on my designer series paper as well. Um, I'll pop all the measurements you need onto my blog and I'll put a link for my blog in the description box on the video. So as you can see, I've gone along top and bottom here, popping in my little diamond shapes and popped all my paper in. This um, designer series paper comes from the Presents and Pine Cones collection. Just use the stripy one. And also this card base here is um, mint macaron. So and I've also popped on some super red super duper sticky red sticky strip onto my tabs here to join to put my cracker together so I'll just show you how it goes together now so if you fold in your tabs you take your red sticky off and then you simply just join up your ends like so There we go, and then you can do your middle section as well. Just take off the back. There we go, we can just join that up together. And then we can just poke our little tab in and that holds that shut like so. And you can just give that a squeeze and your score line should go inwards and then you can then we can finish decorating our cracker. So I'm just going to grab some Emerald Envy Twine to start with. Just cut a piece, a couple of pieces of that. You can pop this around. Just tie that in a quick double knot just to hold it closed. and I'll just trim that back and save for this end quick double knot and if I can get it round there we go Give that a little trim up as well. And then I've got a couple of pieces here of the white organza ribbon. And we can just pop these on either end as well and tie these in a nice pretty bow. Greatest bow tire. <laughs> oh, there we go. I hope there we go. You get the idea. Just tie that up. Hopefully, a lot neater than what I have. There we go. Oh, 
final about this end. Ooh. There we go, and you can you can play around if you've got more time than what I have. Get your bows even. And then I have got a little snowflake that I have stamped in on uh, mint macaron again. Um, this little snowflake comes from the Tin of Tags stamp set, which is also in the Hobby Bay catalogue. And I've just got a scalloped circle of silver glimmery shimmery paper card and I'm just going to use some dimensionals to attach that to my glittery paper scallop circle like so and then more dimensionals on the back of this one just to pop it on to the central section of our cracker like so and then also got some little rhinestone jewels and I can just pop that in the center just to finish that off like so and then we can grab some chocolate them out of that one. There we go. Open this up, pop your treats inside and you're good to go for your table. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed my video today. It was quite a quick one. Um, I will as I said, I will pop all the dimensions and measurements and everything you need in my blog and I'll pop a link to that in the description box. I'll also pop a link for my online shop so you can shop 24 hours stamping up with me. Um, I'll pop a link for that in the description box as well. And till next time, thank you all very much for watching. Thanks. Bye bye.